My name is Butterfly, the one who brings it like it's never been brung. So today, our guest is Jun Dale. Did I say it right? Yeah, that's right, brother. <laughs> oh, thank you for Mr. Federico Mida, Zimbabwe. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So he is going to be telling us a little bit more about himself. Tell us, like, when did this all begin? I know that's like the question that you get asked all the time, but when did it all begin? Well, I started music back in the days when I was uh, grade one, that was first day. Wow. Yeah, so uh, I joined the school choir and, uh, you know, as I was growing up, you know, people have been telling me that I'm good at doing this, so mm -hmm. I persuaded the thing. And uh, when I finished my A-level, that's when I got serious with the thing. And mm -hmm. um, I started uh, building the name Jun Tale. And until now, here I am. Oh, wow, Jun Tale. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. So what genre of music would you say your music is? Well, uh, let me say, back in the days, I started doing off, uh, the kind of music that uh, is uh, R&B and so. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, I had to uh, sit down and change the kind of my music because I realized that here in Zimbabwe, you know, a lot of musicians, you know, uh, kind of like, um, you know, want to be like Trey songs or want to be like Asha, like mm -hmm. Neo and stuff like that. So I sat myself down and I decided to come up with something new. And uh, it's something that I had to put about five genres together for me to come up with the, my music that I'm calling the the Afro Roomba music. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's quite different from what other people are doing because mm -hmm. I realized that for one to become a superstar, you need to stand up from the crowd and do something that is unique. You definitely do something that is unique because that's how we know you. So when you look at the Roomba industry in Zimbabwe, I mean, there are a few names that we can pick out, Diamond Musica, maybe Madiz. Where do you see yourself in that? Or do you see yourself in a different category, which you just mentioned, Afro Roomba? Yeah, I can say um, I'm seeing myself uh, doing very well because uh, I've got a lot of uh, collaborations that I'm looking forward to be doing with one of the greatest men that I respect in the music industry, especially when it comes to that kind of music I do by the name of uh, Fali Yipupa. Ooh. You know, so uh, those guys are really ah. making out and, and you know, wow. their life is really going okay. with the music thing. So I think it's going to be great. All right, so Roomba music is associated with French, you know, and the and the waste movement. Would you say you know a little bit of French or even the waste movement? Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I've studied French so mm -hmm. that um, it goes with my music. So mm -hmm. I know a little bit of French. And uh, if you listen to a couple of my music, there's a little bit of uh, French that I'm always involved in in my mm -hmm. music. So. Uh, you know, it makes the music uh, sound so um, nice. And the waist movement? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could do something for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah All right, so we heard that you were in Nigeria recently. How was that? Well, Nigeria was uh, quite cool. You know, it was a very good experience. I met up with a couple of artists and I learned a lot of things and um, I uh, corrected myself from a lot of things that I have been doing wrong and uh, right now I believe that uh, I think there's going to be a little bit change uh, out of everything that I have been doing for me to be on another level. Alright, so you recently did Mutupo which I gotta say got a lot of love from people. I haven't really heard you collaborating with a lot of local artists, why is that? Well, uh, you know, back in the days, you know, I've always wanted to do collaborations with those popular guys, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, one of the days I approached uh, this uh, one popular someone that I wanted so much What's to see. What's his name? Tell us. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, I was uh, told a little bit of amount that I couldn't uh, manage to have at okay. that certain time. So that gave me this spirit for me to boost myself, for me to... Um, to be an artist that can be able to do any kind of music because there was this feel that I wanted for him to do all my song mm -hmm. but uh, it couldn't happen so um, I trained myself to uh, to do any type of music and to sing any kind of music and uh, since then I've been just doing my solo kind of music but uh, I have featured uh, Ja Praiser mm -hmm. uh, on a song that is called uh, Madude mm -hmm. and I've also featured uh, Progress Chifumo mm -hmm. uh, on a song that is called uh, um, Moyo Wangu and I've done a song with my Madizi mm -hmm. of a song uh, called um, Manule. Oh nice! So give us a little something something before you go shop because I used to show the artist that was not going to be brought up by the throw. Zuba, I'm not on the new era. I'm not going to tarira. 
Mi fana ni zoya kong, don vanda pererwa. Ongundinga kanga ni sandika kusa mwe salavi. Fungwa yoku tindo kunda, aiwa yandi bata. Oh wow! So so the, the, the list, I can hear the ta la ta ta ta. Is that something that you add on? It's spicy. Ah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> All right, so we got a message from Simon. Simon says, Anzi Butterfly, Majiz na, na Juntale, who is better? So I don't know who's better, but from what I've heard, I, I think, I think you, 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 you got a little something. So make sure you get in touch with us on Twitter as well as Facebook. We're going to be putting that poll over there, but I got to say, you definitely got my vote. Yeah. Sounding absolutely good. That was Juntale on Coke on the Beat. My name is Butterfly, and that's what we had on this week's Coke Game.